Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, <clears throat> my my voice is not doing good, you know, but uh, we will try to do what the Lord can help us to do. Uh, before we start uh, talking about why Muslims are spitting at Muhammad words, or let us say they are spitting Muhammad words from their mouth, which means they deny it. Uh, before we go there, we have some comments from smart Muslims. You know, me my, myself, I never met a Muslim. He is not smart. Starting from Taliban, you know, so they killed uh, 120 Muslims in order to kill 13 American soldiers. Genius, you know, very genius. And now the one who did that by suicide bombing because he's a coward, like he's a prophet. Uh, he is. Uh, is receiving the versions. Uh, a Muslim, she said, she is using Christian name, Carla Joy. She said, Jesus is not God. Even the Bible in Matt 15, 9, uh, the God in the Bible is Satan. Okay, I don't know. It's, it's Carla, she knew best. I mean, this is Carla. You know, you know Carla. Okay, we go to the Bible where she is saying what she is saying, and we don't find what she is saying. What, what those people? What's wrong with those people? Actually, the verse is in front of us saying that Jesus is God. Why? Because Jesus, he quoted a prophet. If you read verse number seven, you will see you idiot that Jesus was quoting someone and the name is there. And his prophecy is that those people, they are going to worship God with their mouth. But in fact, they are not true believers. So Jesus is speaking about those false people like you who keep saying Allah, 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 Allah. But in fact, for sure, Allah is the wrong God. At the same time, all of you are a bunch of hypocrites. You don't care for God. All what you care is the heaven, which is sex. Islam is a very sexual religion. And the whole purpose of it is sex. If I believe in Islam, what I will get? At least 72 women. Okay, what they will do to me? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm very shy, you know, I was shy since I was a kid. I have a cousin, he's a shy like me. He could not have kids because he's shy, you know. Because how you can have kids and you're shy, you know, you know the story, you know the thing. So the people, you know, he or she is quoting for us verse number nine saying, Jesus is not God, I can prove it to you from the Bible. You idiot. The fact is the opposite, because when I call to you, and I am talking about, in the same time, about me, those who don't believe in me, I'm talking about worshiping me. So those people, they worship me, but under a different name. But they are a hypocrite. They worship me by words, but in reality they are false. The same as you Muslims. You know, Muhammad, he says, the one who play music, he will go to hell. All of you play music. The one who draw pictures or make pictures, he will go to hell. All of you have pictures in your phones and you have camera and the best option of your phone, actually you buy the phone for the camera, not for the phone. So all of you are a bunch of hypocrites and none of you will go to heaven. Why you are carrying a phone, have a camera, when the Quran, when, the, when, the, uh, 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 when Muhammad, he forbid you. There's a special chapter in the Quran speaking about singing. Singing is haram. Even Taliban, they sing. Al-Qaeda, they have songs. And, they, and, they, and then they say to you, oh, singing is about singing Allah is halal. Where it says that? They will see you, the Prophet, he was a bunch of slave girls dancing for him because he's a hypocrite like you. He said the music is haram, but he himself, he have a bunch of girls, slave girls from Ethiopia dancing for him. So when the Muslim they quote for us something, we laugh at their quotation, trying to make it look as if it is what they claim. So she said, Jesus is not God even in the Bible, Matt 15, 9. And as you see, the verse is opposite. If you read it carefully, you will see, uh, you know, Jesus saying to them, you have to worship me from your heart. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. The same chapter, is where Jesus saying, I am God, worship me, and you have to obey my command. Then here it says, Luke 6, 7 to 27 says, love your enemy. And then she says in 1 Peter 5, 8, Satan is your enemy. This is because you are a stupid idiot. 
And by the way, there's a Muslim, he says, I will go to his comment later, just wait. I don't want to mix things. He spoke about, I, you know, I insult. Uh, so Jesus says, love your enemy, and Satan is your enemy. Uh, you see, uh, uh, Satan is the father of all lies. So if Muhammad is the father of all lies, that would make him Satan. So we cannot love Muhammad. So you get it wrong. Like if you ask me now, do you love Taliban? I don't. The Bible forbid us from loving pure evil people. So if you are a pure evil person, we don't. And loving Christianity does not mean giving hugs. I love to save Taliban, but I don't love them. They are evil, pure evil. They put a woman in the floor and they rape her in the front of her family. They cut hands for a thief when they are all of them, they are a bunch of thieves. Go and see their videos, robbing houses, go into houses, and because this is the booty, supposed to, right? Killing Muslims and claiming that because of America, we kill the Muslims. So Islam is a pure evil, and whoever follow pure Islam is a pure evil too. So love your enemy mean that you guide your enemy to the truth and show them the truth and show them love. But doesn't mean in war we are going to love Taliban. In war we are going to make them shish kebab. And we, this is what we did for 21 years. And now when we are leaving, the Muslim they claim victory, even though we announced we are leaving for more, more than five years ago. And not only that, we left only 2,500 soldiers in, in the whole of Afghanistan controlling it for the last two years. Taliban did not even dare to move their tail. Until we got an idiot, his name is Joe, you know the thing. And he told them, come, they made an agreement. This is how the Muslims are. You beat them in war, they claim victory. You beat them in debate, they call the police for you. I heard that there's a Christian from Indonesia. He was debating a Muslim and he made him shish kebab. What happened? 15 minutes after, the police came to his house to arrest him. That is Islam. Islam is a religion of cowards, not the religion of a brave. And suicide bombing is a sign of cowardness, not a sign of a brave. If you are a brave, go and fight your, you know, your enemy. Uh, at least if you want to do suicide bombing, do it between the soldiers, not between civilians, you, you coward, son of Muta. So he killed more than 100 Muslims, and more than 200, they lost their arms and their legs. How they can justify that? This is a very filthy, pure, evil cult. It's called Islam. We go to the second comment. Uh, yeah, second comment. The same person saying the same thing. Okay. All right. I said uh, lately, when somebody says, um, like a Hindu convert to Christianity because of a Christian prince, uh, uh, no, sorry, a Hindu, he says, I'm converting Hindus to Christianity. I said, I don't know anyone really spoke to me, and he is a Hindu, and he became a Christian. I don't remember anyone. But uh, obviously, there's people who they are coming to Christ because of the video, but not necessarily they spoke to me directly. Here we have Mr. Uh, 8. Hi, Christian Prince. Um, on an old video of you said, I do not know any Hindu that convert because uh, of watching me. Uh, no, I didn't say watch me. I think I said uh, speaking to me, you know, life on air or something like this. I was a Hindu and I started reading the Bible because of you, and I am proud Christians. That was two years ago. Well, praise the Lord. That's you are saved, my friend, and we are happy to have you, and we pray to your family to join you in your beautiful trip with the Lord. So, for sure, you know, there's people we do not know. I mean, when you make uh, a life, uh, or this, is the, this is the good thing about the internet, you don't know who is listening to you, and you might even, sooner or later, I will be dead, you know, but still the conversion process will work, and people will watch videos, and they will be either convinced or not. And the one who is convinced, he will receive the message. Uh, Delta Cross is saying, she is asking a question. I believe she is a Christian. She said, I watched one of your old videos about explaining the punishment for gays and lesbians in the Quran. 
which you referred to such uh, an Nisa ayah 1516 but I'm confused uh, because this verse does not really say anything about homosexuality I made some uh, research uh, okay well, no uh, my friend it referred to homosexuality and let me show you but the problem is because you don't speak Arabic you don't see it and because the translation maybe is made by by a Google certified translator maybe it doesn't show okay so if we go to the Quran <clears throat> you see in Arabic here it says like where it says uh, and if any of your women it, it doesn't say really the word women it says Wallati. the word Allati the second you see this word it means they are talking about women but the word women is not there okay so here we see where is the word women so obviously speaking about lesbian so those who they are guilty and all of them they are women okay who is who is the one who will do for like a kind of uh, sexual act and all of them they are women obviously they are lesbian right and then the same for men here it says walladhani you see there's no word men in arabic alladhani is for both both for male this is why in translation it says if two men among you are guilty guilty of what sexuality okay what sexuality involve, involve two men and how you say you could not find you know where it says that okay it says they are doing kind of sexual act and they are two men do you think this is a chess i mean how two men do sexual act I mean, there's no women so all of this did not lead you to see that this is about gays I don't know what to say no more comment uh, let us take one or a few more comments and you are welcome by the way I'm not upset from what you said but just think we have a Muslim his name is Hammam Hassan and he is uh, leaving a message for me in Arabic I will translate for you he said you did not say one uh, 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 let us say one sentence without insulting I mean this guy is following a prophet he used to beat people and insult them for no reason including Muslims I can show you the hadith and he is complaining but let us continue reading at least the doctor speaking about Zuzu Zakir Naik he did not insult any of you if, uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. You, you, you idiot. You coward. You mental. You see, I'm not insulting now. I'm proving it. You, when you pray, the first thing you say in the Quran is Surah Al-Fatiha. So you call us Maghdub Alayhim, you call us Dalim, which means what is that? The cursed one and the lost one. And you don't call us names? What about the word Kuffar? Which means the one who hide the truth, which means we are liars. What about the one infidels? What about the one is najis, najis filthy? What about we are worse than animals in the Quran? Kal an'am. So this coward, he claimed that Islam does not insult people. All your book is a book of insult. In the top of that, look what he said. I hope he is watching. And by the way, potato, you claim that talk to us. I'm talking to you. Call me if you dare. Uh, he said, if you don't like the Muslims, get out of their land. First of all, I'm not talking about Muslims. You are a donkey. I'm talking about donkeys. There's many Muslims. They don't really believe in Islam. And they have a brain. And they use it. Secondly, he says, get out of their land. This is my land, you idiot. It's you who is in my land. It is you who came to my land, occupy my land, and now claiming this is your land. This is what they did when they took Spain. This is what they did when they took Morocco. This is what they did when they took Tunisia. This is what they did when they took Algeria, Egypt, Syria, Jordan, everywhere. Our churches in Turkey, until now, Erdogan is stealing them one after one. And they are asking you to get out of their, their town. This is our town. And we will take you away. We will send you back where you come from. Actually, even the Kaaba is ours. Even the Kaaba, according to you, Muslim, don't you say that the one who built it is Abraham? Guess what? 
the Jews, they are the grandsons of Abraham. They have to take it. I will support the Jews taking back their land, their property. What they do with it, I don't care. I mean, the Kaaba is not a holy place for me. It's a place of junk. Even you Muslim agree that the Arab used to worship 365 idols around it. You destroyed all, you left one idol, his name is Allah. Still, it's an idol worshiper. And until now you kiss a stone, stone kisser. So, uh, let us see. And then he says, here you sit and you cry for the foreigners. First of all, those are not my foreigners, those are my family. Second, you coward who is crying, it's you who is crying. Look at you, you are a potato sitting in the chat, you know, crying for what I am talking about. If you are a man, call me, win a debate, and then people will, 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 will join Islam like waves, as what happened in, when Muhammad became victorious. He could not convert anyone to Islam until he became victorious in war, and then they became uh, as waves. That's what the Quran says. When? When the people, they got joined Islam? When? It's not because when Muhammad, he, you know, he was able to prove them wrong. It's not because after they believe. It's after he conquered them. People, they heard Taliban is coming. So what you expect him to do? Huh? They join the religion of the cult by waves, in, suddenly. Suddenly everybody wanna be a Muslim. Like now those who wanna leave the Taliban Kabul cities, suddenly they all of them, they love America. And seeking better life, huh? So in chapter 110, what is the chapter name? Victory. Look at this, what a shame. So when the victory of Allah came in war, hmm? Then you saw people coming in religion by crowd, not by one, not by two. When? When the sword on the neck of those people in those towns. So when a Muslim, he says to us, Islam did not spread by the sword, we laugh. Even your Quran saying so. Cowards, liars, you have no dignity. So you take our land and you claim it is yours, but I have a good news for you, we will take it. It doesn't matter how long time, maybe people will laugh, says, how you will take it? Who can believe that Israel is going to be Israel again? 2000 years after, Israel became Israel again. So don't laugh, don't ever laugh. Things can change so fast, overnight. So we will take those lands and we will save the Muslims from Islam and they will have a freedom, and you do not need to hang yourself in an airplane in order to run away from Islam. You stay there, you live as a human being, if you are join us fighting the cult of Islam. And the funny is, says, leave our land, which is not yours, and at the same time, you all of you are running from your land, if you the one you claim it's your land. I mean, did you stop there? You are running from it. Wherever Islam goes, destruction come. This is the proof that Islam is garbage name for me one country even even the daughter of the prince of emirat his daughter is in jail why because she decided to have a freedom what which country is is good country they try to make themselves even the one who tried to themselves moderate but reality will not change they will never be You go to Iran, you see women wearing, wearing hijab, but half of their head is showing and their face is covered by makeup. Why? Just because to be hypocrite to the, uh, to the regime, which is supposed to be Islamic regime, but nobody believes, obviously. Here we have a person, his name is Harshit. I, I think you choose the perfect name for, my, for yourself, my friend. I don't know, you know what? I cannot even choose a name for you better than this one. Okay, Mr. Harshit. I hope you enjoy your both part of your name, the heart and the shit part. Christians and Islam and Buddhists and Hindus and Jews and Sikh all great tra uh, trap uh, of uh, fighting each other. That's false. We are not fighting really. I mean, we as a Christian, we don't want to fight anyone. But if fight for you is debate, that's mean you don't want us to be human. And nature of a human is to find the best way to live and the best way uh, of argument to, to make our life better. So. If we don't do, let us say, 
debate and seek better that's mean we are not a human that's mean we are animal who eat grass and do your first part of your name i mean the last part sorry shishu shishu you know so having many religions it's not the problem the problem is when there is somebody he think he can convince somebody by a sword and by killing and by raping uh, same time jesus says love your enemy as we saw the muslim woman she is saying so as you say, you idiot, even if you're an atheist, I cannot hate you. However, you are an atheist and you are smart. And the proof that you are a person who believe that you used to be a monkey and became donkey. I mean, you beat me in that. I can't even argue about it. You won. If I put you in the stage and I tell you, okay, what you used to be, you will say, I believe in Darwin. Okay, what Darwin did? The filthy Darwin, he brought a black person, a black human being, African. He put him in a cage to prove that the origin of the black is monkeys. Can you believe it? How filthy he is, this Darwin? Can you believe it? How filthy? This is atheism? Yes, this is atheism. With the Christ, we fight racism. Because with the Christ, for God, he loved the world, the whole world. Not the white, not the black, not the Asian. It doesn't matter who you are. With the Christ, we don't have Darwin. And we don't believe that there is certain kind of animals evaluate or let's say did evolution for themselves to be better than other animals. This is your thinking as an atheist. So stupidity is amazing and no comment. Now we continue. No need for any culture. So why you don't sleep with your mother? There is no need for culture. Why you don't sleep with your sister? There's no need. I mean, culture and tradition, there's no need for them. Okay, go jump in your sister. Or jump in your daughter. Be an animal. So what atheists they are trying to say to us, and many of them, by the way, they are hypocrite. If you ask an atheist, are you going to sleep with your daughter? He say, no, no, no. Why? You atheist, you don't believe in anything called, uh, you know, you are animals. You are an animal. Okay, have you ever heard an animal? An animal cat don't have sex with his sister cat? They do. Why you don't want to be a cat? As you believe you are. So, in one side they claim to be believing in something, in the other side you'll find that they are holding what we have for them, inserting it in their life, and claiming to be atheist. The true atheist, I say, is somebody sleep with his mother, his daughter, you know, jump on any woman in the street, jump on any woman in the street, literally, like a donkey. You know, I remember, for, you know, I was a kid, and, uh, you know, my dad, he got me a horse, a very black horse, very nice. And then I was riding the horse, and then suddenly the horse, we went so crazy. I didn't know what happened. He saw a female horse. Like, what? He cannot hold himself. This is, an, this is how, if you are an atheist, you do that. So don't claim that you are an atheist. None of you is. You are a bunch of hypocrite, potato, tomato. You live still under our rules, our tradition, our morality, and you claim to be atheist. You are not. Even at work of the atheist companies, they say we have to create an ethical code. Okay, ethical code. Aren't you an atheist? What does that mean? Potatoes. Again, stupidity is amazing. You win, you win. Because you are stupid. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid lose? Never. That's a dream. Okay, there we have, I think we have one more comment, and then we go to Shab Shabura. Uh, a Muslim gentleman asking question, saying, his name is Nazarun MD Isa. Okay, Mr. Isa. I'm a Muslim, I want to ask you an easy question. Where the steel iron came from? Can you give me proof from the Bible? If you don't give me an answer, that's mean you a lie. I'm waiting to your answer. Okay, here we go. Guys, where is the steel coming from? I will give you the answer from the Quran so we can laugh together. First of all, you see you idiot. When God, he created the earth. The first thing to create, it must be the core of the earth. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody? He created the outside before he created the inside. So, the core of the earth is full of iron, you idiot. Go study, go search, then Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him. 
www profit google piece be up on you how much iron there is exist in the core of the earth you will see a lot so the idiot who told you i know what he will say he will say the quran told us where iron coming from okay what the quran say let us let's read and, and love there's a chapter in the quran it's called the chapter of iron hmm. read with me and uh, love the muslim they made scientific miracle about this one chapter 57 verse 25 it says and we sent uh, a uh, four time our message with a clear sign clear sign brother clear sign and send them down the book and the balance okay uh, the, so the man they might stand uh, forth in justice islam full of justice mm -hmm. and we send down the iron the muslim they say see allah he sent down the iron according to science iron was sent from the space but just to show you the potatoes here uh, how dummy this verse is the verse saying Allah he sent down the Quran and he sent down the Aaron to kill each other <laughs> so he sent it to the mankind the mankind was exist there before the Aaron came he Allah he sent it to the man you see the Quran and we send the Aaron we send the Quran and we send the Aaron we're down who was down the man but this is stupid because man blood is full of iron so before the iron to be sent down we have to have iron in the ground for the man himself he eat iron and his blood is full of iron and if somebody have an iron deficiency in his blood he die literally so where the iron came from according to your god he sent it down but this is supposedly uh, uh, metaphorical that everything we have is coming from Allah but the idiot Muslims who they claim that this is scientific fact they say that this is coming from the met as a meteor from the sky they are fooling themselves because even Allah he says we send down uh, uh, feather to the human feather have you ever heard of a God he sent feather down so according to your God Allah he sent us uh, lingerie to women and uh, panties uh, to uh, Zachary Naik so they can cover their uh, you know private part is that really what happened Allah he sent down panties let us see the Quran speaking about Allah sending down panties nobody do things except like like there's things except Allah we have to understand all right All right, this is the verse. My browser was not working. I don't know why it's not, it's not coming. Uh, let's try to refresh. Here we go. This is the Quran claiming that all panties sent to muslims is coming from allah and the panties by the way it was covered by feather if you read translation by the way here we don't see the word feather as exist where is the word feather they took it off feather uh if we maybe let us try to change the translator this is uh, yusuf ali uh, Yusuf Ali, let us take Shakir. Uh, so you hear clothing to cover yourself. The, the word is to change, but where is the word feather? Well, you know, where is the feather? Okay, let us try, try change the translator. Another idiot, big no feather until now. 
the world feather disappear hilal and khan okay uh, there is no feather you know the word feather disappear but i remember there was one translation was honest and he put the word feather there so anyway the point is you can you can you can just uh, keep switching translators until you find the correct translation it should say clothing and feather you know clothing and feather so uh, Allah he sent down clothing and figure and, and you know is it really the panty or your wife is wearing is made by Allah so that statement is a stupid statement claiming that the one who sent the clothes on you is Allah that is false so when you say the Quran was you know saying that the iron sent down that is a stupid statement too because there it says that Allah he sent the Quran and the iron down that's mean anything Allah he give you is sent down that's why it says the, the book sent down the Quran sent down your panty was sent down the rain sent down the, the you know the, the guidance sent down everything for Allah is sent down and then the funny is Allah he says he keeps saying send down send down but in fact he was on earth when he was doing this so why he sent it down isn't it the Quran says that Allah after he finished creating the earth he went up to heaven so send down after you finish creating the earth chapter 20 uh, chapter 2 29 it says after he created everything in earth you see everything is done he went up to heaven here they say he turned into heaven that's false it says it's tawa it is sama he rose up to heaven change the, tr the stupid translator this is kari i don't know this kari this is a new one let's see the easy big tal he created for you that all in earth and then he turned to heaven okay the, uh, forget about you know turn to heaven which is supposed he should be uh, he went up to heaven i'm sure you will find translation but it says he created all for you in earth you see it so when they use this verse to say that iron was sent down that's against what the verse here is saying because allah he created everything in earth before even he leave the earth which means allah was in the earth and then he went to heaven and there was, there was no heaven hmm? And this is even before he created Adam, he created the earth. You see stupidity here? Why the qala rabbuka? You know, because, because what the earth have to do with the creation of Adam? Remember, Adam in Islam was created in heaven, not in earth. You see the stupid Muhammad? You cannot make a story fit. According to Islam, Adam was not created in earth. So Allah created the earth, but Adam will live in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says and I'm going to make a caliphate for the earth but he created him to live in the heaven and he said to him go and live in the heaven and the heaven is not the same as the heaven in the Bible it's different heaven it's a heaven in, in, in sky this is why in the Quran says in different verse you see when you answer one thing you will find yourself you are studying the whole book with me right uh, So when Adam and Eve, they mislead it by the devil Allah, Allah says to them, get down, get down, act differently. <laughs> so when they did commit sin, what Allah he said to them? And look at this first translation, get down. Where is get down? Uh, here we go so if, if we found it get down see so Allah created Adam to live in heaven and heaven is in heaven which is in the sky so why he created the earth <laughs> this is what happened when the one is making this or remaking the story is a monkey okay have fun Okay, now we go to uh, 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 Shabura. Mr. Shabura, you know, is a, is a sheikh. You know, Mr. Shabura is a big sheikh. He's a lot of sheikh, you know, like there's sheikhs all over. Look, look at him. 
And uh, Shabura, he made an agreement with, uh, uh, with Anthony Roger that if we debate about the Quran, about the salvation in Islam, we are not going to use anything from Muhammad words. Ali, I want to begin by giving all praise and thanks to the only true triune God who loved me and saved me, and I pray that he'll do the same for Dr. Ali and other Muslims and anybody else who doesn't believe in Christ as Lord. Uh, talking about salvation according to the Quran, from my perspective, is more than a little bit difficult. Uh, anyone who's read the Quran knows, and, and here Dr. Ali would openly acknowledge this, I believe, the Quran is not a systematic book, but uh, the, the real problem is that it doesn't even lend itself to being exegeted or systematized, in my view, into a coherent overall teaching on many issues, including salvation. Uh, after all, the Quran doesn't tell us when, where, or why certain verses or chapters were revealed. Stop, Anthony. Why he need to tell you? I mean, come on. <laughs> exactly. You see, the Quran is a book like suddenly there's a verse came. But why? We do not know why. Why? Because the Quran is a stupid book. It's not like, okay, Jesus, he went to the mount and the crowd was there. And then Jesus said to them, no. Muhammad made a rap song, which is stupid and doesn't make sense. And then he put a verse, uh, actually he didn't put it anywhere, and he just said, he make a statement. And that supposedly have connection with that incident which happened there. But nowhere in the Quran says what the purpose of this verse. And that's what makes the book so stupid. So one verse speak about, you know, let's say about tomato. The second verse is speaking about how to do laundry. Like what? What is the connection? Which is often critically important when interpreting something. You need to know the context. Uh, moreover, the Quran doesn't tell us which chapters or verses are before or after uh, each other. And so it's difficult to know which of Allah's changing commands or teachings are his final decisions on a matter. Uh, for example, as everybody's probably heard, in one place the Quran says people can't drink alcohol at all. In another place, it says they can, just not before prayer. And then in still another place, it says, uh, you know, it doesn't even restrict it uh, to that degree. According to Muslims, the first thing I said was the last thing Allah revealed and so reflects his final requirement. And the last thing I said uh, came earlier and re uh, reflects a decision that Allah later changed his mind about. But the Quran doesn't tell us that. It just has these differing commands in different places. And so, this is one of many examples where a person is left wondering from the Quran alone what Allah requires. Uh, also, in many cases, when reading through a section of the Quran, it's difficult to tell uh, if it's talking about the same subject from one verse to the next. You can, you can be reading along about one thing and at some point realize that the subject switched somewhere along the way. And when you try and retrace your steps to find out where that switch took place, it's not clear. And so the question becomes, are we supposed to incorporate incorporate this intervening material into our understanding of the earlier subject or the later subject. Uh, moreover, as Allah himself was forced to admit in Surah 3-7, as a result of the promptings of the Christians of Nadran, many verses of the Quran are not just difficult to understand, but are so unclear that they can be understood only by Allah, which not only leaves us in the dark about the meaning of some of those statements, isn't it beautiful that Allah, he made verses only Allah can understand? <laughs> so beautiful. I love this Allah. Hey guys, I'm going to give you a verse. Only Christian friends understand. Take me up. Okay, hey Christian Prince, what you just said, I wouldn't understand. Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Only Christian Prince knows best. Wow, that's deep. That's so good. Who can do that? I mean, only Allah can do that. So it's a book of guidance, and this book of guidance nobody understands save Allah. Oh boy statements, but also leaves us wondering what the point is in really revealing verses that don't reveal anything. Uh, in addition, the Quran tells us that those who try to understand the unclear verses have a diseased heart. You know, but since the Quran doesn't give us a list of which verses are 
only known by Allah in which verses can be understood, a person ventures at his own peril to either include or exclude verses from his overall understanding. The, the point that I'm driving at here is that all of this is inimical to exegesis, and without being able to arrive at a reliable exegetical conclusion about things the Quran says, it's impossible to see how various statements cohere with one another. Stop for the sake of God. I mean, uh, Shabir Ali right now, he is putting him dead in the basket. He says, what I will say to this guy after what he said. But Shabir Ali have an answer for this. But I want to see the part where he says we agreed to have the debate in Quran only as a request of Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali requested to have the debate in the Quran only. I don't know which part is that in this. I don't want to play the whole thing where it is. To produce an overall doctrine of salvation. What we're left with is trying to decide what <coughs> salvation is from a book that lacks context, clarity, and coherence. And that, on so momentous a matter, is one's eternal destiny. Uh, now, one can try to bring in here the biographies, the commentaries, and the traditions to help the Quran out, uh, but this raises several issues, including uh, the fact that if the Quran is Allah's eternal speech, we have to wonder why it needs to be supplemented by these other sources, uh, things that aren't even considered to be Allah's eternal speech. Why does Allah's speech need props and crutches to hold it up. Secondly, the Hadith would bring in a whole host of other problems besides the ones I've already mentioned, not only with respect to the interpretation of the Quran, but specifically with respect to how people are saved. Uh, for example, according to the Hadith, one of the things Allah will do to save Muslims is by placing their sins on Jews and Christians to suffer hell in their place. Now, uh, Shabir and I have agreed to debate simply the Quran alone, and so I'm just bringing this... See? So in the May 24, 45, Shabir and I agreed to debate the Quran alone. So why Shabir he don't want to debate what his prophet said with the Quran? I mean, isn't it Islam is based in what Muhammad said? Isn't it the Quran itself is a hadith? Hadith is mean a speech. So even the Quran called the Quran a hadith. And Muhammad, God supposedly, claimed that the Quran is the best of the hadith, which means the best of his speeches. As you see, uh, for some reason, eh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I will keep hitting you until you work. <laughs> okay, now it worked. All right. So, Quran is the best of the hadith. Who is the best to tell hadith more than Allah? Read it. You see it? Who is better than Allah to tell hadith? Chapter 4, verse number 87. Huh? So the Quran is a hadith. All of those words in the Quran is speaking about a hadith, a hadith. Quran is a hadith. See? In chapter 39, verse number 23, it says literally, the best of the hadith is the Quran. You see here it says, sorry, they, they translate the word hadith as a statement. In Arabic it says, Allahu nazzala ahsan al-hadithi kitaban. Allah, he sent down the best of the hadith, a book. So why Shabir Ali, he don't want the hadith? Remember, the whole debate is about a salvation, right? Salvation is now. Okay. And, uh, uh, you know, Shabir Ali, he made a long speech trying to explain to us that in Islam there is salvation. And the funny, that Shabir Ali, he was quoting the Pope but you don't want to quote the Prophet. And can you believe it? A Muslim Sheikh, he quote the Pope. He quote writers, authors, but he don't want to quote his Prophet. I thought you want to debate Quran only. Hmm. Okay, Sh Shabura, go ahead. Works. Thus, uh, the Quran often couples faith and works as the twin criteria of salvation. This is the first lie. And uh, Shabir Ali, he know that this is a big lie. Let us go, and this, this is just to show you why Shabir Ali, he don't want the hadith. Because hadith will destroy all his lies. 
And I say the word lie, not as an insult, but this is a, you know, a normal practice for a Muslim. You're going to be a real Muslim unless you lie. As you know, Islam without that lies dies. So read with me carefully. When Muhammad, he said, that a Muslim deed will not save him. So what will save him? Muhammad explained. Here I want to show you how the Islamic deception work. If you read this hadith as an example in Sahih Muslim 28, 6, uh, uh, 16e, it says, there's none of you whose deed alone, see the word alone? That is not exist in Arabic. So if you are a person who like Anthony Roger or David Wood or etc., you have to be depending on what the translation is saying, assuming that they are truthful. But here it's a lie. There's nowhere I challenge the Muslim to show me the word alone. Actually, the liars themselves they expose themselves by different translation in the same website where the translation take the word alone off. Let us go. Abu Huraira reported the messenger saying none of you will be rescued by his work where is the word alone this is the same hadith the word alone is gone but this is the correct translation right so his work alone is not exist his work will not rescue what about faith will not rescue we just heard Shabir Ali saying that you have two things to say to be to, to earn salvation in Islam, which is your deeds and your faith, right? We, we just heard him. I don't know if you have a bad memory. We can play it again. Your faith and your deeds. And then you go and you read what Muhammad explained. Who is better to understand Islam? A Shabura, Zakura, Zuzu, Tutu, Fufu, Zuzu, Muhammad, Mimi, or Muhammad the Prophet. Here you see how Muslims, they are ashamed of their Prophet. And this is why they say we are Quran only, because this is really crazy. So all those things Muhammad, he said in the past, it's just stupid. Those who do these, they will go to heaven and gardens and river underneath of them. What is a river? Is that a diarrhea? version blah 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 this hadith destroy everything and this is sahih as you see this is bukhari and muslim this is very authentic so your deed will never save you and your faith will not save ever save you because what what will save you unless allah he cover me with his mercy it's a lock actually i'm going to use i, I don't know if you heard me i was taking selfie of a muslim who posted something when we say that uh, uh, why allah created uh, uh, earth for Adam, if Adam is going to live in heaven. Look what this Muslim, he said. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Gartin. I think, Adam, are you Indonesian, my friend? You are welcome here. I love Indonesian people. Allah created the earth because he had predetermined for Adam to sin. Look at this. Did you, did you see what I'm saying? So Allah predetermined sin for Adam. So Allah had a plan. So all Allah's statement to Adam was a lie. He told him, go and go to heaven. Don't eat from this tree. But Allah, <laughs> he, he, you know, this tonight, he have a destiny to Adam that he will commit sin, he will ask for forgiveness, I will forgive him, I will send him down to earth. Like, what the heck? Look what you just did. You are in total agreement with your prophet. May Allah bless him and give him more vagina. Because remember, Muhammad he says he will have the power of 100 men, sorry, 40. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 100 men of people of heaven in sex. And those 100 men, 
Each one of them have the power of 40 men in Earth. The total 4,000 men of sex. So imagine how much Muhammad he need women, man. Well, we lined up like long line from here to California. I mean, do you know where is California? Long line of women. And Muhammad is doing like boom, 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 Oh, you were stating that Islam is stupid as uh, thank you sorry I thought you are a Muslim anyway but this is what Muslims they say actually and we have many videos about it before so uh, in all the speech of Shabura he was trying to fornicate with the Quran you know they are fornicators of religion they fornicate with their God. Let us try to deceive them and lie to them and give them some shish kebab and we will not show them what the Prophet said, the first fornicator. Because if we show them what the Prophet said, they will be disgusted and they will reject the stupidity. So what is going to save us? No deeds. None of your deeds will save you. Okay, what will save you? Even Muhammad, even you? He said, I, even I. I like it, this guy who asked Muhammad, even you. Because now he made it more perfect. He was asked, if not even he would. He replied, not even I. Unless Allah cover me with his mercy. So it's about good luck. So all your deeds you do is for what then? And then Muhammad, he, he noticed that he's being stupid. Now he said, but keep keep the straight path, keep the straight. So you just told them all those deeds are, are, are a lie. You just told them that the prayer is a lie. You just told them that charity is a lie. You told them that... Uh, 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 doing jihad, killing some Christians in Ka in Kabul airport, and more than a hundred Muslim in Kabul is not a you know will not help you. It's not a it's a good deed according to Islam, but th those deeds will not do anything to you. So all the promise he made himself is a lie. Do you see it? So. When Shabir Ali was explaining, and he made that he made it clear to Anthony Roger, now listen, we will debate, but don't quote for me what the Prophet said, because one quotation from what the so-called the Prophet Muhammad, all my debate is conquered, and already we did. Not only that, Islam teach some horrible things about salvation. If we can even use the word salvation in Islam, we actually would, it doesn't fit anywhere. We mentioned to you before many, many, many stories. When Allah, He created the human being. See, I, I said I'm going to go live for a short time because my throat is hurting, but the Lord is is uh, helping me with the pain. So it's I'm not feeling really any pain now. Uh, <clears throat> So according to Muhammad, when Allah, he created a baby, and when the baby, he stay in the mother of his, in the, in the belly of his mother for 40 days as a sperm. Look at this guy, genius, Dr. Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, where you learned that a human being is gathered in the form of a semen in the womb of his mother for 40 days, where do you get this science from? The only one who can answer such a, Tough question is Dr. Zakir Naik, Zakura, you know. But that's it. The Prophet, he meant it for him to do who? That a demon, he'd go together in the womb of the mother for 40 days. Uh, uh, Zakir, uh, but semen don't live more than five days, maximum. Listen, friends, my name is Dr. Zakir Naik, and I know about medicine. And you're ignorant. 
Zach, Zach and Naik. I understand you are a doctor, Zach and Naik. No problem. Even your last name is an F word in Arabic. But this is not the problem now. So, but science says, I mean, all books, all scientists, all doctors agree that semen can live for five days. So how semen can live for 40 days and 40 nights in the belly of the mother, according to Muhammad? Go to bed. First of all, you did lie. You just said that all doctors, they agree. And you forgot that you are talking to a doctor. I get you about it. So not all doctors agree. And I am a doctor. And I don't agree. Hey, Zach and Nike, as I know, that you have a degree in donkeys. And, you know, you are a, you are a vet, you know. Go to bed. I'm a doctor, new doctor, not a vet. It's true that I was dealing with a lot of animals in my life. But this is not the reason to say I'm not a doctor. Okay, what? How you are a doctor and you say such a thing? 40 days, semen, can you? Do you have a proof? First of all, a Muslim, he do not need your proof. Allah is my proof. Ah, Allah is your proof. You can be busted now here. I mean, what? I, that, that's it. I'm, I mean, I am in this ability. Exactly. And don't go me again. And throw me your faith. And uh, tell me your name. What? what? This is Islam. And then Muhammad, he says, after he gathered you in the form of a semen for 40 days, uh, it become a clinging thing. In fact, this is false translation. It says, become as a, it, it became a dead blood. Alaqa. And then it become a flesh. And like that, uh, 40 days. So 40 days, 40 days, 40 days, 120 days, you are done. According to the to Muhammad, a, a, a baby is done to be a complete baby in 120 days. And then the angels will come and breathe to him the soul. Look, angels can breathe to him. I thought Allah is the one. So angels are creators. I mean, do you see how dangerous this statement is? Angels, they breathe into the creatures. They create. Angels are creators. Based on this, angels are creators. Because who, who give life? The angels. Read it. Another stupid statement from the man who called himself a prophet. Actually, you know what? This reminds me when I actually she said, you the one who claimed to be a prophet. Can you believe it? The wife of Muhammad saying such a thing? You might say, I am making things up. Aisha, she never said that. She did. Anta alladhi taza'amu annaka rasulullah. Anta alladhi taza'amu annaka nabi. You the one who claim to be a messenger of Allah. Aisha, she got him busted. And if you are a person watching Muhammad, at that time, you will say the same thing to Muhammad. Let us see if we can find the hadith. <coughs> In English until now we have no luck I don't think we will find it let us try another sentence Yeah, I think it's here. Uh, the same, uh, maybe here. No. No. Anyway, I'm going to post a link. It's going to show you all the hadith and all the reference. You know? And the Muslim for sure, they will say to you, this is a weak hadith, blah, 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 blah. You know, okay. Uh, Yeah, as usual. Let me shorten the link. 
because I cannot find it in English. Actually, there's tons of videos about it in YouTube by the Muslim Sunni sheikhs. You know, this website usually never open, but today we got lucky and it's open. Uh, let me show you first. Uh, Here, Aisha, she said to him, aren't you the one who claimed to be a messenger of Allah? Then he, he smiled at her. He said, uh, but it says here, he is angry, like he smiled, but the smile of an angry person, you know, like he is upset. And he said, and are you in doubt about that, the mother of Abdullah? So Aisha, she, they call her the mother of Abdullah. But she had no Abdullah. Uh, and then she said, well, she repeat again, she said, aren't you claiming that you are the messenger of Allah? Claiming. Claiming. Can you believe it? Let me give you the link for those who like to have reference. Even though in Arabic you can use uh, Google translation. But first I have to shorten the link. Let me do that. And let me know if it does work. This is the link. Hey guys, tell me if it's open. Tell me if you were able to open it. Now, a Muslim, he might say to you, this is a Shia website, but this is Shia library, and the book is Islamic Sunni book. All right? This is not a Shia book. Because, you know, they, they, they will say to you, oh, it says Shia, Shia library. This is a library. They have Shia books, Muslim, Sunni books, whatever. So, according to Muhammad, a Muslim person, a Muslim person who should believe in this that when a person he is created Allah he write for him it is term his provision is recorded the command recorded four things about what about his life his provision the term of life its conduct and whether it's going to be happy or miserable Do you see it? And then Muhammad, he make it even more horrible. Well, I'm glad that it's worked. Save it and make a comment about it in your favorite links. Says Aisha, she says, aren't you the one who claimed to be the messenger of Allah? And maybe you should make a note that you can find it in the two, the last two lines in the page. Uh, now here it says, Muhammad continue. After Allah, he write his provision for you, or let us say your destiny. Muhammad, he said, by, by the one beside whom there is no true God. There is nobody. And I like it when the Muslim, they write the word God in, in little tiny g, you know. They know that their God is false, you see. Verily the one of you who they perform action of dwellers of Jannah, which means heaven. And by the way, Jannah is another statement Muhammad, he stole from other cultures, you know. Jannah and Jahannam, proving that he is a false prophet. Until there is only one cubit between him and Jannah, and then he will, uh, what is foreordained would come to pass, and he would perform the action of inmate of hell. See? 
until he entered. So the good deed, bad deed is a joke in Islam. It is what Allah he wrote for you. Even the deed you do is a predestiny. There's no deed of your choice. You see it? Is the angels are creatures? Yes, according to the hadith, Allah created the angels from light. According to the Quran too. <clears throat> the Quran says that Shaitan, he complained about, uh, uh, he is created from fire, human cre created from uh, mud, you know, and the hadith confirmed that the angels was created from light. So here you see that all the lies that uh, Shabura was saying in his video about those who good deed, and even he said people from other faith, they will enter Islam. Isn't it the Quran says Allah accept no other religion except Islam? So why why Shabura lying saying other faith will be accepted? Like what, Hindus, Buddhas? Never take what Muslim they say to you to be true. They lie. Read carefully. You go right now and watch the video. And Shabir Ali lying to the Christians, lying to those who they are watching the debate, saying other faith is other faith, they will be they will be saved too. According to their knowledge. This is what he said. According to their knowledge. Okay, you know what? I will use this according to your knowledge. This is in Christianity, it says, that if somebody did not learn about, let's say Jesus, somebody who lived in the jungle of Brazil, he never met a Christian, he never heard of the gospel. How this person will, you know, how God will do justice with him. The Bible teach that he will be judged based in his, the knowledge God he gave him when he created him. God is about justice. So he will not judge him for not accepting Jesus when he never heard of Jesus. In the Quran, no. Woman Islam and those who seek other religion other than Islam, and you see here with the word Islam is surrender. You see the word Islam? This is a correct translation. Surrender. It's not a religion. Islam is not it's not even a faith. Islam is to surrender to the filthy Muhammad, a criminal, a war criminal, a warlord a pirate so you surrender and this is the translation for the word Islam so the one who don't surrender to Islam nothing will be accepted from him so Shabir Ali was lying to us in his debate Can you respond to the case of Muhammad Kaz case from Indonesia who was accused of a blasphemy? I don't know the story, my friend. I hear just a little comment. So I cannot comment in something I do not know. So as you see, they lie in their in their in their statement, saying many things which is absolutely 180 degree, the opposite of what their religion teach. Why a person with long beard? and such an age and he have a phd he claimed to have a phd you see those phd they got about religion uh, you know uh, does it make you really uh, uh, a person you know i learned that school never taught me anything o honest to god all the degrees i earned in my life they taught me nothing i learned nothing from them This is why I say education have nothing to do with degrees. Only foolish, proud ones, they think because they have a degree, they are educated. Uh, somebody saying if God would judge uh, a jungle person by their own standard, I did not say by their own standard, I say by his standard. So by the knowledge he have, this is the, this is what God he gave him. So when God he created you, 
Don't make things up, I did not say. When God created you, he put inside you a feeling of wrong and right. You have that. Let us say you have a minimum uh, awareness of bad and good. So when a human being, he kill a human being, he knew it's wrong. He knew it's ugly. When a human being, he steal, he knew it's wrong. That is not because religion says so. This is because in his heart, God, he put a certain knowledge so he can live with it. Remember when God, he created Adam, he did not give him a book. He did not give him chapters and numbers and read this verse and read that verse. He gave him few words. Don't eat from that tree. When Adam, he ate from that tree, he felt guilty. He did not see himself naked before. So, why he felt guilty? So God, he gave you a gift. This is a gift. This is not a curse. And the gift is, when you do wrong, you feel it. Slaughtering a human being is wrong. In your heart, you are disgusted. You go to sleep, you will see dreams about it. All those criminals who claim to be heroes and you know they are, they enjoy killing and they go far and animals blah 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 blah. When they go to to sleep, they have no dream. They have no dream except the souls they 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 hurt. So you will feel guilty and you will feel bad and your guilt will chase you. So God will judge you by what you do based in the knowledge He gave you, which is the guilt you can feel. Let us say, God, he installed a sensor inside you. And the sensor will be activated, you like it or not. A bad person, he tried to kill that sensor. He tried to avoid even using it. But it's there. And you know that you are guilty. I hope I did answer you. So, it's not about, you know, because uh, according to him. It's not about according to him. What if there's people who they enjoy eating people, according to them? This is not what we are saying. You feel right away when you kill a human being, you are doing wrong. So those people, because they are, they decide to live like animals, so they, they, they avoid that sensor inside them. When, like, like a human being, he even in, in living in civil uh, life and the civil society, and still he go and rape a woman. Or kidnap a woman, rape her and kill her, or cut her pieces. We hear those stories from time to time. Why? How he do that? Because he decided to kill the censor which God he gave him. He knew that is wrong. Or a child molester, he go and he prey on children. He knew it's wrong. A Muslim say the Surah 1886 is a figurative language. How what figurative? It says it said set in the sun of murky water. Guys, try to focus with me in one topic. We don't want to be flying from place to place. But I will answer you. A Muslim tried to save his prophet from the lies he said about where the sun set. So what he say about chapter? Uh, 18 verse number 86 where the sun set in murky water it's a figurative figurative language and it is Allah is talking is talking from Zulqarnain perspective where it says that I mean how uh, this is a stupid statement okay let us go with him for the sake of argument what he will do when we show him he's a prophet saying the same is he going to say Muhammad was speaking the same? This is how you can destroy all those lies. In the Quran, nowhere it says that this is from how he saw it. It says he found it. Allah reporting. He found it. I mean, why Allah want to report something is not true? Did he say and we corrected him? No. 
He said he found it. When you say he found it, it's mean you are reporting a fact, not a perspective. The language is so clear. And here, this is, this is Muhammad saying, I was sitting behind Messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. There's no Zulqarnayn, there's nobody, that's it. He said, he asked, who is the one who asked? Muhammad, voluntarily, Dr. Muhammad, you like to be a teacher. What you can do? You cannot resist the temptation of being a teacher. So he asked, do you know where this set? Talking about what? About what? The sun. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said it's set in a spring of warm water. Is that figure, a figurative speech now? He said the hadith is weak when it says sahih. <laughs> It's weak, you know, it's weak. And the only weak is the stupidity they have. You see, this is what we are talking about. The second you show them what their prophet, they say, by the way, even weak is accepted, in case you do not know. This is why it did not flunk as, uh, 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 what his name? Sheikh Hamza, he said. You know, Sheikh Hamza, they asked him about weak hadith. He said, weak hadith did not flunk. It's accepted. <laughs> he said weak hadith is a weak argument so those people in order to avoid the stupidity in the Quran and in the hadith what they do they try to get rid of it So suddenly weak hadith. Anything anything is embarrassment is a weak hadith. Well, okay, you know what? I will go with them. What in the Quran it says this is from perspective of Zul Qurnay. Actually, if you go in the Quran, it says he found it sitting. Sitting. He found the sitting place of the sun. He found what? The sitting place of the sun. And then after that, a few verses after, he found the rising place of the sun. You see, like people, they like to change my topic always. They don't listen. If you ask the person, okay, what translation you like us to uh, give you, he will start f trying to find the best translation he, he he can use it. However, I challenge any Muslim to show me a translation he accepts, and we will laugh together. Because all what we need to do, we can copy the Arabic text and go to Google Translation and see what it says. Did Allah say he thought? I mean, can't Allah use the word he thought? Why it's hard for this God he used to use the word he thought? He never heard of the word he thought? Here you see how they are desperate trying to fight back something they cannot fight. All what Allah need to do to prove it's not him saying that is to say he thought. He did not say that. He said, until he reached the sitting place of the sun. So what he found first, the sitting place, there's a sitting place. He found it sitting in a spring of a black muddy hot water. He did not think he found it. The word is so simple. Anyone you say to him, okay, I went home and let us say, I'm telling you about a friend of mine. He went home and he found his cat uh, eating his food. Is that from his perspective? Is that what I'm saying to you? Or I'm saying to you what he found? So the second I say he found it, it's mean I'm reporting a specific event happened, not a thought. He found it. So because they are ashamed of the stupid Quran and their false prophet, suddenly this is not, this is a, like a, a figure of a speech, is not really, we can figure out that he don't mean that. And look what happened. Let us say they were able to escape the first verse. Then we continue. And then he changed his way. And then until he keep going, until he found the rising place of the sun. Like what? Is that a, is that in his perspective too? Perspective, sorry. <laughs> and he found it rising on a people. This is the rising place of the sun. So there's two things: rising place of the sun. There's a place where the sun rises. There's a place where the sun set. 
And what happened there? They, he found next to it people. Same as the other one. So is, is the people there, they are not real people too? Because if he thought the sun set, that's mean everything he found there is right too. He found the sitting place of the sun and he found next to it people. Next to what? To where the sun rise. And not only that, he built a dam between us and between the creatures, they are called Gog and Magog. Who each one of them, his ear is like a tent and he sleep inside it. Which is every one of them, before he die, he will have at least a 1,000 baby. Which means the, ra the ratio of a human being to, uh, to, to, to this, you know, this, uh, this uh, creature is 1 to 1,000. So if we are 7 billions today, Gog and Magog, they are 7 trillions. Where are they? They are not under the ground. Zulqarnain, he built a dam between us and them. And this is again because Muhammad, he believed the earth is a flat. Because if you build a dam between me, let us say we build a, we build a, 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 like a wall between us and Canada. Still, I can go to Canada. I mean, the earth is not a flat. The only way this will work if this wall is built in a flat ground and I go all the way to the edge of the earth. If there is a literally an edge, let's say here and here, we use the word edge as a, as literally, not as metaphorically, because it can be metaphorically. I can say to the end of the world, you know, but this is metaphorically, there's no, there's no end really, because end can, can start from where I am standing. Because I, if I, if I want to go to the end of the world, I have to go and come back to the point I start from. That's the end of the world. If I want to go really, let us say scientifically, at least in one line of direction. So here he found a, 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 a creatures who they are living there and he built a dam. Is that a metaphorical too? And this is a, you know, so poor people, they are trying desperately to find the solution for a stupid religion. And the only solution for anything is embarrassment. Is daif. Anything they don't like, they call it daif. You get, these are weak hadith, but, you know, I did something called the, the uh, content of character, which is a small book on prophetic invocation, uh, prophetic, uh, this is a B good. to an A minus. Right? A Hassan hadith to a B minus. Weak, a weak hadith is, is anywhere from a B minus to a D minus. Right? A Hassan hadith is, is a B to an A minus. And then a Sahih hadith, I'm just using a language you can understand. An A minus is like a, 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 a sahih hadith is from an A to an A plus to 100%. Mutawatir is 100%. Al-Bukhari is like 98%, 99%. Muslim and Bukhari, 99%. Uh, sahih Muslim, 97%. So, the, the, uh, a weak hadith is not thrown out. <laughs> Just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that, that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. And so when the owner was saying... <laughs> so do you see the joke? Do you see the joke? The, the weak hadith. Anything, they, anything you throw at them, they say it's a weak hadith. But weak hadith, it passed. This is why it's called weak, actually, because it gets a rank. It joined the rank. It's like, you know, in the army, there's a general. There's a captain. There's a major. There's a private, there's a specialist, there's a, a surgeon. So, weak hadith, it has a rank in the army. It pass. It pass the, 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 the uh, 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 you know, the, the training, <laughs> the inspection. <laughs> so, they lie to you always, desperately trying to find a solution how we can avoid the truth the truth hurt the truth is ugly 
The truth is painful. This is what they do. So as you see in the front of you, and by the way here, the, the funny thing is like, he told, those people, they do not understand anything. Those people don't understand anything. Then suddenly those people who didn't understand anything, they told him to, to, to build something very smart, a dam. Look at this. A people who secretly understand the world. They cannot even understand the world. A minute after, a second after, they told, they said to him, like how they can understand the world. And then they said to him, Hazel Qurnayn, verily, verily, Gog and Magog, they are doing great mischievement in the land. Shall we pay you a tribute in order to, uh, to, 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 to build something between us and them? I, I, you just said they don't understand the word. Suddenly there's a full communication between them. So everything they come with is very silly and very stupid. This this is a, this is the most stupid religion. I you know I have to say to you sadly, if you are a Muslim, you are following the most stupid ever religion ever. I mean, I do not need to remind you a, a, a prophet he promised you endless penis that he must be stupid and mentally ill and sex maniac. Endless penis. I mean, what is that? What is the purpose of this penis? So you always ask yourself, whatever Muhammad he promised you, what is the point? When Muhammad he promised you, women you can see through their bones, and all of them they look the same. So what the point of having many of them? Are you with me? Always ask yourself, what is the purpose? So here what Muhammad he said here, as an example, we go back to salvation. So, you are going to do the deeds, do jihad, fight for the sake of Allah. Too, too many promises in the Quran, and then Muhammad he says, it's not your deed who will save you. And not only that, he swear by Allah saying that what is written by Allah will take over your act. It's not your action no more. And then that written will decide you go to hell or to heaven. So what the point of this religion? Always ask yourself a very simple question. What is the point? When Muhammad, he promised me a lot of women, all of them, they look the same. They have the same face, the same age, the same breast, the same vagina, the same song, and the same clothes, and the same skin, and the same name. All of them, their names is Hur. You say who? All of them say yes. Like what? What the heck? So what the point? What one who is different from other seventy who are nothing? So what the point of those seventy? You, you are not changing women. It's the same woman. You are just a fool fooling yourself. Hey George, you are giving me, I don't know, some rubbish, which is, doesn't make sense. Because uh, Sahih al uh, Bukhari in chain, what in chain? Sahih is Sahih, this is the rank of, of uh, how correct it is. And all of this is a garbage, by the way, because even al Bukhari, he wrote the hadith 300 years after Muhammad. Some they say 200 years, between 200 years and 300 years. Because uh, the Muslim, they try even to change the date he was born. So if a person, he came 300 years and he start collecting and then he examine what is correct and what is not. And then the Muslim, they take it for granted. And then when we, we say to them, okay, we will take what you take for granted, for granted. They start regretting what they did for the last 14 centuries. They don't want to take it for granted no more. So because it's shameful, it was accepted until 50 years ago. All this garbage was accepted until 40 or 50 years ago. When internet came and people start more getting more education and they start seeing how stupid this religion is, so the Muslims they start washing their hands. We heard just the Crown Prince few a few weeks ago saying we need to filter a lot of this hadith. We filter, they are filtered already. What this guy is talking? So after fourteen hundred years, they are not filtered yet. 
Remember those hadith and those stories written by the hands of Muslims. Well, why Muslims they wouldn't lie about their prophet? And why they call it sahih? If it's a lie, sahih mean authentic, true. Hassan mean true, good. You see like this guy, Potato uh, Uthman, the one who don't dare to call me, but he dared to take selfie with the one who ate the Quran, Potato wearing burqa. Hey, this hadith is Hassan, is, is uh, Daif. It says there Hassan. Hassan mean good. So it's a, it's a, it's a moody cult. Anything is embarrassment, we try to wash our hands from it, as simple as they want. My friend George, if you want to bring me a Muslim, he said, what about you bring me the Muslim so we can understand what he's saying? Save yourself from copy and paste what Muslim said. Bring me the Muslim himself. Be, my, be the hero. All of you are invited to invite Muslims to come and debate me. And who can debate that anyway? This is why they don't dare to debate me. And this is why if they want to debate, they will say to you, we'll choose a topic and we will, we will debate your Quran only. But the second we say to them, the Quran says, the sun set in murky water, they says, it is, and it, it's not mean that, let us go to interpretation. But you just said Quran only. Where in the Quran it says, this is from perspective of this guy. Does it say that word? Does it say he thought? So they are so desperate. And this is what the fool do. Same time, as long Muslim, they keep saying that the hadith is, there's a lot of fabrication in the hadith. That means Islam is a fabricated cult. Because Quran says, you have to obey what Allah and what his messenger said. So if what the messenger said is not protected, that means Islam is not protected. Do you understand? Do Muslims follow the Quran only? No, actually they follow, they follow mostly the, the hadith only because the Quran says you do muta. Where, is, where in the Quran says don't do muta no more? They say to you in the hadith. Okay, that's when you follow hadith only. In a very serious matter. Right? And those who don't obey the messenger, they are not going to go to heaven. We never send the messenger except to be obey, to be obeyed. Chapter four, verse number six, uh, sixty-four. Okay, how we can obey the messenger without preserving his command? Do you understand? So, if Islam is preserved, then Allah have to preserve what Allah said to Muhammad and what Muhammad said to the people, right? Otherwise, this. Order is a stupid. Do you understand me? How we can obey a prophet if his command is fabricated? Chapter 4, verse number 80, claiming that obeying Muhammad is obeying Allah. So Muhammad come before Allah. He who obeyed the messenger, he is indeed obeyed Allah. So Muhammad now he claimed to be God on earth. And then the Muhammad Abdul, they come to us and they say the command of the Prophet, a lot of it is fabricated. Okay, who is the one who will judge which is fabricated, what's not? He says this, the, the scholars, okay, let us see what the scholars say. Do you accept what the scholars say? They, they would not accept. A Muslim he called, he says, okay, let's see what Ibn Kathir says. I said, do you accept Ibn Kathir? He said, at that verse only. How many times you heard it? At that verse only I accept. That verse only he's a scholar, the rest is not. Why they do that? Because they are ashamed. And you remember I said to you that God he put inside you a censor for guilt? You remember? They have it for they are created by God like us. All of us, we are human. Muslim, Hindu, Christian, Jews, whatever you are, atheist. So because they have the guilt inside them, they knew they are guilty with their belief. 
they try to kill the guilt by denying what is written in front of their eyes in their books. So the scholar is a scholar when they want. The scholar is not a scholar when they want. Is Ibn Kathir a scholar? The Muslim, they say yes. Okay, let's read. Oh, I don't agree with that. This is his own interpretation. <laughs> okay, is Zakir Naik a scholar? Yes, Zakir Naik is a scholar. The guy did not even know how to read the book. He's a scholar? This guy, he claimed that the word whore is male and female. <laughs> when the Quran says they will not bleed from their losing their virginity. <laughs> So, uh, Shabur Ali is no different from the rest of the Muslims. He is struggling badly. And his struggle journey is going to be a long time because he is trying his best to avoid the reality. You ask a Muslim, How many wives a man he can marry? How many wives a man he can marry? He will say to you four. Okay, so are you saying all of you Muslims agree in the number? He will say yes. Say to him, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Let me show you this one. Oh, I was typing in uh, in uh, sometime you know I like I type I think I'm typing in English but turned to be in, uh, in Arabic. Okay, Shabir Ali. All right. Maybe this is the video. Let us see. The <clears throat> question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So, actually, the question today is from a viewer asking about um, how is it that the Prophet had more than four wives? But the Quran said you can only have up to four wives, or you can only have four wives. Mm. So the, the simple answer to that is that while it is commonly perceived among Muslims that the Quran um, says that you can marry only up to four, uh, technically the Quran doesn't actually say that. Uh, the first the question here is in the fourth chapter of the Quran, the third verse, uh, where it says, uh, marry the women who are suitable to, for you in twos and threes and, and fours. And uh, or like two at a time, mm -hmm. three at a time, four at a time. Uh, but uh, it, it doesn't say that you can't marry a fifth. N not that I'm recommending okay. marrying more, yeah. than, more than four. <laughs> I think it's reasonable that the Muslim scholars have placed that limitation and said that, you know, it doesn't... Did you hear? The Muslim scholar, they placed that limitation. It's not Allah. Can you believe it? So in Islam, there's, you know, the Quran says, uh, go and do nikah, which means if two together, three together, four together. He, this is his word. He says at the time, at the time. This is Shabir Ali word. At the time, two at the time, three at the time, four at the time. But the, the, the Quran doesn't say you cannot go and do the if, the, the fifth, and the sixth, and the seventh. The scholars, they put that limitation. What kind of religion this religion is? And so are we following now the God or the scholars? And which is scholars? Do you see how stupid this religion is? Listen carefully again. And we are talking about sympathy, marriage. We are talking about science. And fours. And uh, or like two at a time, three mm -hmm. at a time, four at a time. I like it, by the way, two at a time. And three at a time. And four at a time. Guys, I have to go because I'm going to marry four at a time. 
they are waiting for me in a Starbucks. I will hold their eight hands and I will say to them, I cannot wait to take you to my bedroom. Because the Prophet of Allah, he says, two at a time, three at a time, four at a time. Hey Prophet, we cannot do five at a time. You can, you can. You know, but he stopped there because it doesn't make sense. He keeps saying like five at a time, six at a time, ten at a time, you know. You know, there's no need to continue. I mean, come on, this would be boring. Ten thousand at a time. This is what he's saying. There's no limitation. Uh, but uh, it doesn't say that you can't marry a fifth. N not that I'm recommending okay. marrying more, yeah. more than four. I think it's reasonable that the Muslim scholars have placed that limitation and said that, you know, it doesn't seem like a man could do justice marrying more than four. Nowadays, we think uh, a man does not do justice even marrying two. And, um, uh, and, and of course, as at the, in past societies, uh, it, it was a welcome practice that men yeah, married common. multiple mm -hmm. uh, wives. So one did not feel as a wife that, you know, one is uh, really being uh, given like a short uh, end of things here. Anybody understand what this guy is saying? I mean, a guy in a grocery store makes more sense. What is it? What is the topic? I'm, I'm trying to focus with him. You see, he's in the limbo. You don't know what to say. But, but, but the, the question is, why Muhammad, he have many wives? When the Quran says four, he said, no, no, no. You see, in this, for the sake of defending Muhammad fifth, they even change what the Quran is saying. Okay, whatever the Quran is saying, we change it. So it's not four. The Quran never, never indicate four. The Quran says, do as you wish. And boom, you know, bingo, you know, carry your penis and go around. Just have money in your pocket and do, have fun. Halal, halal, brother. Halal. Uh, and, and of course, as at the in past societies, uh, it, it was a welcome practice that men yeah, married common. multiple mm -hmm. uh, wives. So one did not feel as a wife that you know one is uh, really being uh, given like a short uh, end of things here. Um, but in today's society, naturally, women would feel that way. And, and so the justice, uh, to, to do justice to women in, in a polygamous situation is uh, very rare uh, in, in today's society. Uh, so um, not that I'm recommending it, but, yeah. but I'm actually, you know, I'm looking at the technicalities of what the verses. He's looking at the technicality. You know, this, I know, now I know why the Chinese call it TikTok. This is the technicality actually say to show mm. that there's no contradiction between the verse of the Quran and the actual practice of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Now uh, classical commentators who took the view that the verse actually limits uh, the number of wives to four, mm -hmm. they explain the Prophet's uh, behavior by citing two other verses from the Quran in the 33rd chapter. Yeah, anyway. Anyway guys, I think we have enough for today. You see here the funny here, uh, uh, when Shabir Ali he want, he tried to quote Hadith. When a debate about salvation, he don't want hadith. Here you see the sign of his shame and the guilt. They don't want their prophet to be involved as long as he says something is embarrassment. If their prophet is not saying something stupid, at least for now, they will say we accept it. The second you show them an embarrassment, they call it weak. It's a weak cult. And as you see, as long they say that and they agree that a lot of the command of their prophet, it's weak or it is fabricated. That's what they're trying to say. Then the Quran is an invalid book because the one who don't follow Muhammad by obeying Muhammad is not a Muslim. And if we cannot preserve the command of Muhammad or the speeches of Muhammad, which is his teaching, it's a command anyway then how we can follow the true Islam if the hadith is full of garbage. So from their mouth, we condemn their cult. They say this hadith is weak. They say that hadith is weak and you will notice what is weak for one, someone, it is strong for someone else, even the scholars. Can you believe it? And they claim that we have something called Alm al Hadith, the science of Hadith. Do you know science of Hadith? Yeah, science of idiots. To the point, what is strong for you is weak for somebody else. 
they cannot even give a, 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 a taste of a dish because this dish is yuck for this guy the next Muslim he says this is haram the other Muslim he says this is yummy the same dish three Muslim scholars one call it yummy one call it uh, 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 haram one call it uh, uh, bad you see Arabic listen for Arab and Arabic listen for the Arab uh, I don't know George I think you are trying to promote some videos in our channel I have a feeling of that never mention anything you will have a question bring the Muslim to ask me the question or ask the question don't they can you refute this and that I don't appreciate stupid tricks we do not need to refute any videos we refute Muhammad himself. And if somebody want to make a video, he can make a video. If you have the courage to call me, prove what he's saying, he's welcome. We use videos sometimes for somebody is claiming to be a sheikh, big sheikh. But we will not go after little kids. Don't you see I'm avoiding even to talk about this Uthman? This guy is an idiot. Even Muslims are laughing at him. This guy, he shake hands and give five and give me finger and etc. Blah, 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 blah. With the one who ate the Quran. And the Quran says, you will not find one Muslim. Not even one Muslim. He will be kind or loving to those who oppose Allah. So how he can justify himself taking selfie with David Wood and giving him hugs and they say to him, Mashallah, you are six foot. He liked and this guy, he liked uh, tall men. Huh? You will not find one true believer. He do what this earth man he do. Why? Because they knew that he have to act differently. He knew he have to practice taqiyya to the maximum, even that maximum. I mean, this is very embarrassment. Take not Christians and Jews as a friends, and the one who take them is one of them. Chapter 5, verse 51. So, those people, they try, and we, we know we are not going to judge Islam by such a kid, you know. This is why we are showing you people who they claim to be mature. And I cannot find really anyone between them is mature enough to consider him immature. But this is the best they have. Like, I mean, look at Zakir, this Shabir Ali. He come with the conclusion that in Islam there is no limit of how many women a man he can have sex with. But isn't this is enough to prove that Islam is a stupid religion? What is the purpose of marriage? Is it having many women to have sex? Or to have a family and what one woman can do or so the two women can do one woman cannot do or three women can do and one woman cannot do unless you consider women is just a property and you want to have more you know billy dancers around you and you want to be the rooster this is why we see the bible condemn the act of kings in the Jewish kingdom who they marry and they multiply their wives a person who do such a thing he is not seeking God he is seeking his penis and that is Islam Islam is you seek even the Muslims they say Islam Udin al Fitra, which means the natural thing, the natural be like an like an you know go live like a hippie. What is al Fitra? The way you are born. Okay, what you are born? Sleep around. No ethic. This is Fitra. You do poo poo wherever you go. No 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 need to go to the bathroom. Do fitra. A child is born with the fitrah, supposedly, according to Muslims. What he do? He poo-poo where he was standing. 
until you teach him. No, don't do that. So this religion is way beyond stupidity and way beyond contradiction. And the Muslim, when they say to us, we don't accept this hadith and that hadith, then you have to provide us a book of hadith, which 100% accepted. Because if you cannot provide such a thing, then you cannot accept the Quran. For you cannot be a Muslim unless you obey Muhammad. And if you cannot provide us with the book of Hadith, which is preserved and give the whole command of Muhammad with no fabrication, then Islam is not preserved and all what you claim of preservation is a lie. Do you understand? So I want to say thank you guys. I wish I can stay longer. I don't really feel too much good today. And uh, uh, let us hope that uh, uh, the Muslim they learn and they, uh, they listen carefully. Remember, we don't hate Muslims and we will never hate them. We hate the devil, we hate evil. We hate, we hate the act of evil. Muslims are victims of the filthy cult made by Muhammad, who made a man glorify his God by killing a hundred Muslims in Kabul just to kill 13 American soldiers. I mean, this guy, he didn't think, look, there's a one around me, there's women, there's a children, and they are Muslims. They don't care. He just worship his penis. They told him, if you do it now, you will be effing a lot of women five minutes after. So this guy, he go to the airport of Kabul, holding his testicles, praising Allah by holding his penis, saying, I'm going to have victory for this penis soon. My life is miserable, what I'm living for. If I kill myself, I will get the versions. This is how evil Muhammad is. And you will notice that Muhammad did not die in war. He was always hiding because he don't believe in the versions. Same as Osama bin Laden, same as the leader of ISIS. They hide and they send your son to die because they don't believe in it. Otherwise, why he don't explode himself? Why Osama bin Laden, before they enter his house and capture him like a cat, like a rat, he don't explode himself? He don't want to die. He want to live, even in jail. Same as ISIS leader. They hide Saddam Hussein, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Jihad. And then we find him like a rat hiding under the ground. They send your kids to die. To make a glory for them. A glory of shame. So, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, we will be back maybe properly Monday or Tuesday. I want to give some time for my throat to rest. That's why I'm saying I don't feel really feel good. Um, and until we just subscribe and join us, you can join us on Patreon so you can receive notification when we go live on air. And as you see, I promised myself I will go on a short video because I don't feel good. And now it's two hours. Hmm. What a short video. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is a shame full of lame and only fool can believe such a claim the author of the quran is an idiot and no doubt about it this is the answer for those who said who is the author of the quran and with this we praise the lord it is saturday pray for him to save the world from the evil of every evil, not only Islam, but Islam is a very dangerous evil cult for sure. Make a human hate other human and kill other human for no reason except religion. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon again. Thank you. Bye-bye.